So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today I bring you guys another super rare, so to speak, weapon. It's one, there's barely any other coverage on, it's definitely worth a video showcasing to you guys how this thing is obtained and what it's capable of. How's it going guys? My name's DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the Death Ritual Spear. It's quite unique, I'm not going to lie to you. It has a pretty little uh, weapon art too. As you can see, not the most powerful, but you can always make it much more powerful, obviously. So it requires a 14 in strength, 20 in dexterity, and an 18 in intellect. Now, I said this is rare, and when I mean rare, and what, what does actually rare mean? To me, rare means weapons that have basically not long being discovered or are so out of the way that they're easily missed that to me is what is considered rare because if you think about it every weapon at the end of the day in this game the special ones anyway they only drop from one source this is no different but the point of this one is the enemy it drops from is easily missable which makes it much rarer and in regards to people covering it on youtube there's barely anyone else that's done it so yes like I said, it's quite rare. So before I showcase you how you get this thing, um, let's just go and check out what it can do to one of these big old giants. Now I normally come up here to test uh, every weapon here. Um, I've dropped a couple of things on to try and make it a little bit better, but I mean like, just a quick little slap on. I've not really tested it and tried it that much. It's not going to be something I'm going to build around, but hey, for some people out there that may be interested in a spear, that does, uh, that's a nice little weapon out like this then you know it may just work for you so i'm just going to drop a golden vow one i'm not sure if it's going to do anything i'm just going to drop a little bit of flame grab me strength one because that does obviously as you know boost a bit of that uh attack it's probably not going to do nothing with this but, but either way you might as well try it so the special attack it's got some decent range on it as well guys i mean yeah it's not bad it's not bad don't slap me don't slap me oh he's slapped me how far can this actually hit from let's have a look You know what, it's range isn't too bad, you know. It's range isn't too bad. Hey, stagger this dude. Let's see what we do. Come here, boy. Boom, boom. Yes, you dead. You dead. Okay, so let's try out on uh, this guy right here. Let's try out on this guy. Let's see what... I know this guy's a lot weaker. So let's see what we do here. Aim for his mid-body. It's not, you know, I love the animation. I love the actual the weapon art. It's quite, no, you're not shooting out of my head, mate. You're not shooting out of my head, mate. You can stamp on me all you like, but I'll drop this on your feet. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not the most powerful weapon I've ever seen. But again, guys, you can obviously build weapons up to make them more powerful. But hey, I like it. I like it. I may try something with this. You never know. Okay, so where is this obtained? So, to get this thing, guys, you need to come up to this area right here. So, on the mountain tops of the giants, you need access to this. If you ain't got access to this, you gotta wait. And it comes from a boss, guys, that spawns in about here. Now, I accidentally stumbled upon this at night time. Um, I've got the footage recorded. I'll play it now. I went to this grace point here. I turned it to night time. I'm not sure. I think you might have to turn it to night time, if I'm honest. So make sure it's night time, guys, and just run up. Follow the direction I go on screen. Now, the boss uh, that actually spawns in, he isn't too hard, but at the same time, he can one-tap you. Yeah, one-tap me, guys. I'm a level 300 plus now. I know my, my uh, stats are all spread out to try and keep it equal in regards to when it comes to actually testing weapons. I don't want 100 in, in intelligence because that's unfair and unrealistic on other people that don't have nowhere near that kind of stat level. So yeah, keep my, try and keep it at like 50 or 60 across the board. Uh, and then obviously add it into it with uh, talismans and stuff like that. But yeah, he still one tap me. My uh, HP is at about uh, 1400. So it's quite, it's quite powerful. So yeah, guys, just go grab this thing. Try it out. Let me know what you think. And well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. It really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.